former First Lady Grace Mugabe's son, Russell Goraza, finds himself embroiled in yet another legal predicament, as he recently faced charges at the concession magistrate's court for his failure to fulfill his maintenance obligations, amounting to a staggering $7,500. The 40-year-old Scion was initially instructed by a concession magistrate to pay $2,500 in maintenance fees by January 31st. Alas, Gorarez's failure to meet this obligation for three consecutive months has resulted in grave legal consequences. In light of his default, Goraza received a wholly suspended sentence, contingent upon his ability to settle the outstanding $7,500 debt by the looming deadline of July 12th. The prosecution was spearheaded by none other than Yunirad Zinengo Masha, a renowned figure in Zimbabwe's legal circles, underscoring the gravity with which this matter was treated in court. Reliable sources have confirmed that the child at the center of this dispute is a tender 11 years old. Regrettably, this is not Gorarez's inaugural appearance before the courts in relation to his failure to meet his child maintenance obligations. Barely three months ago, the affluent businessman found himself arraigned before the same concession magistrate's court. Facing charges of contravening Section 23 of the Maintenance Act Chapter 509, specifically for failing to comply with a maintenance order, the National Prosecuting Authority of Zimbabwe and PAZ issued a statement elucidating Gorarez's previous encounter with the law. According to their official communique, on January 4, 2024, Goraza appeared before the concession magistrate's court, where he was unequivocally ordered to remit $2,500 per month, or the local currency equivalent at the prevailing interbank rate, as maintenance for his child. Shockingly, the accused person allegedly defaulted on his payments from January to March 2024, culminating in a staggering debt of $7,500 by March 31, 2024. Displaying a modicum of legal acumen, the embattled Goraza, acting as a self-actor, beseeched the court for a postponement to secure legal representation, resulting in the matter being adjourned to May 28, 2024. It is indeed disheartening to witness Gorarez's recurring entanglement with the law due to his persistent negligence in meeting his child maintenance obligations. The Scion, who hails from the former first family, and is the son of Grace Mugabe and her ex-husband Stanili Goraza, has incurred public censure for his non-compliance with court orders. Intriguingly, the $7,500 debt that has now ensnared the former First Lady's son stems from his previous marriage to his ex-wife Gladys Chiedza Chihuahua. The couple enjoyed a matrimonial union that spanned seven years before formally dissolving their marriage at the High Court in November 2017 coinciding with the month in which Gorarez's mother relinquished her position as Zimbabwe's first lady. According to court documents, both parties mutually consented to the divorce. A legal denouement that materialized nearly two years after Russell initiated divorce proceedings by approaching the high court. In his declaration, Goraza attested that he entered into holy matrimony with Gladys on December 11, 2010, and their union was blessed with a precious child named Tapaneswa Aurelio, who graced the world on February 15, 2013. Goraza stated unequivocally that irreconcilable differences and incompatibility had plagued their relationship for two years prior to his decision to file for divorce. Following the dissolution of their marriage, Goraza voluntarily pledged to fulfill his parental responsibilities by providing $500 per month as maintenance in addition to shouldering the burdens of the child's education and medical expenses. Custody of the minor remained firmly in the hands of Gladys. It is worth noting that the termination of Gorarez's marriage transpired against the backdrop of President Robert Mugabe's expressed concern over the escalating divorce rates prevalent within the nation. However, in January 2024, the monthly maintenance fee was purportedly elevated to an exorbitant $2,500 and it appears that the flamboyant businessman is now grappling to honor his paternal obligations. As evidenced by his recurrent defaulting, Russell Goraza has become a regular feature in the public eye, albeit for all the wrong reasons, 
plagued by a series of controversies that range from alleged illicit acquisition of mines to acquiring properties under contentious circumstances. Furthermore, he carries the burden of a culpable homicide conviction, for which he paid a mere $800 fine, following his involvement in a tragic road traffic accident that claimed the life of an unidentified individual. Beyond the legal ramifications, Gorareza's story reveals a pattern of controversy that has followed him throughout his life. He has been accused of grabbing mines and houses, and was convicted of culpable homicide for a fatal road traffic accident. In 2018, South African woman Dinio Kekana came forward with allegations that Goraza had fathered her child and then refused to provide support. I got pregnant with Russell Goraza's child. We started seeing each other in December of 2016. I fell pregnant in July 2017. He knew from the very first time I found out I had conceived. He said he'd be part of our lives and support me but his behavior soon started to change. Dinio told the Herald in 2018. Months have now passed whenever I ask for his help he keeps giving me excuses. He then told me in the later stage of the pregnancy that if I decided to keep the baby he'll run off since he is not a South African citizen it isn't going to affect him at all. I couldn't speak out about my problem or get any help from anyone before because his family was still in power and they also had a huge influence here in South Africa. If I took him to court my case would just disappear like Gabriella Engel's case. She lamented. Gorareza's latest legal troubles come at a time when Zimbabwe is grappling with economic challenges and a high cost of living, making it increasingly difficult for many families, especially single mothers, to provide for their children.